some big plays are born from a single individual's smart call or high skill, hoisting their entire team to victory on the back of their accomplishment. Others, however, are a team effort, with everyone playing a part in the grand strategy which results in ultimate victory. This is the story of how Team South Korea worked together to assert their dominance over Team USA at the 2016 Overwatch World Cup. Some backstory on this historic clash. Going into the World Cup, Team USA was one of the favorites to win. The daunting lineup featured such all-star players as Siegel, Adam, Tailspin and Gods, and their track record so far was impressive. They were one of the two teams, along with Russia, to survive the group stage's group of death, so-called because it was stacked with four of the strongest teams in the entire world. And I think a key thing here, X, is that the USA is just showing their strength across the board. They have been mechanically strong in every player, and it's really been throwing Chile back. And unfortunately for Chile, they're down Barduck. They have to win this 5 6. Now 4v6 if they want to stay alive. Uh, and you see Seagull just picking up some kills with Bastion. He's going to go tank mode, just looking for players to take out, and he's going to have two directly in front of him. Does not matter, though. He's only going to be able to pick up one right after the clock ticks. So it's going to be Team USA taking this series over Chile 2 0. South Korea was no pushover, however. They made it out of the group stage completely unscathed and without having dropped a single match, something not even the other top seeds had accomplished. And so the stage was set for a heated match. The first stage, Anubis, with USA on offensive and South Korea on defense. Though the US squad, headed by Seagull's ferocious Genji, made a strong first impression at the start of the round, Korea's indomitable Winston, Miro, managed to protect his team from getting bullied too hard. Miro also served as South Korea's linchpin in the first big team engagement of the match, securing four kills by coordinating Winston's Primal Rage ultimate with his teammates in waiting. Right now, Miro on his own though pops that Primal Rage, takes out Stare and all Already USA in a bit of trouble, Gods goes down, and Miro already that one-man army. A little bit of support from the team, of course, but South Korea defends the first big engage of the round. Well, they got caught in the small room. Tailspin comes Whoa. in with a big barrage, though. Does get hit by the sleep dart and taken out by Arha. This seemed to put the fear of Miro in the U.S., which would prove to be their undoing. Even as Siegel had an opportunity to capture the first tick of the control point, Miro's looming presence forced him off before it could complete. This critical error prevented them from fully capturing the point at their next opportunity, leading to South Korea's victory over the American contenders after a mere 10 seconds of overtime. After dying, there's a Graviton surge, Tailspin will go down, and South Korea looks like they might be able to hold on here as two seconds, one second. If they can take out that last Zarya, they might be able to do it. Sir goes down, there's a Graviton surge, but no follow-up really for the U.S. Sound Barrier comes in from Tyron, just trying to keep South Korea healthy, healthy and his overtime ticks away. It will be a full hold for South Korea. Despite this setback, Team USA kicked off the first payload round on Eichenwald with a powerful defense. Thanks in part to Adam and Siegel's smart use of Lucio and Zarya's ults, respectively. While South Korea did ultimately lose the round in a tight overtime, a team kill resulting from Zumba's incredible coordination with teammate Arhan showed why they had quickly become the most feared team in the tournament. And while Graviton Surge Zumba goes in, big aggressive move by South Korea. Will it pay off though? Looks like it is so far. Kills coming in, there's the Dragon Blade, the Nano Boost on Arhan, and they absolutely wreck USA. South Korea will push, man, just when these guys look out, they do something like that. Nobody expected Zumba to come from the top. The subsequent round was equally close, but South Korea did manage to clinch it, resulting in a 2-0 sweep over the Western Juggernauts. MVPs of the round were Eska with the glorious Deadeye team kill. To do some work with that McCree on the top. And you gotta watch out for that Miro. Seagull gets a Nana Boost, gets a Dragon Blade out. Let's see what he can grab. Eska got, Eska got five! I think he got five! Eska with Holy. an enormous Deadeye. He dropped off when he saw the Dragon Blade from Seagull coming in. It. We got And he just again. slaughtered USA. And Miro, whose last second Reinhardt defense ended up winning the day. Has to fall back. The U.S. might be able to get it right here. Can they do it? Can they take it? I can fall. 
There's a big Graviton surge coming in for the U.S., but they need Tailspin to do more. He gets pinned. He gets taken out. Miro on the right heart now, and South Korea fighting back. Miro's got the Earth Shattered with that Blizzard. They might be able to hold it. They're pushing up. They've only got the last 10 seconds. South Korea would go on to win the World Cup and every subsequent World Cup until 2019, cementing their Overwatch dominance for all the world to see.